So in this uh, uh, first video, we are going to go through the interface uh, of Abacus. And uh, over here, I have Abacus opened. And depending on the version of Abacus, uh, you could be, see slight uh, small differences, but mostly uh, this is how Abacus will look like. So over here we have the main uh, window or the main interface. This is where we are going to uh, see our model. This is where we are going to see the visualize our uh, models and parts and everything in this window. So right now it's blank. There is nothing there. Uh, on the left, uh, we have uh, what we call the model tree. So right now there is nothing defined. So now by default, you have a model dash one. So this is what uh, the model is called by default. You can, of course, uh, click uh, right click and then you can change uh, the name of the model. I will keep it as it is for now. So if you expand the model under model uh, one, this one, you will see the different uh, attributes of the model that are currently, as we mentioned, are not defined. So as we mentioned in the first uh, video, uh, there is a hierarchy to defining uh, a model, a finite element model in Abacus. Uh, the first one is to define the parts or the, uh, the geometry and then to define the uh, property, which is the materials and sections and profiles, and then uh, to define the assembly uh, so this is the how if you have different parts how to connect the parts together uh, there are other things like how to define the steps so right now by default abacus has uh, this initial uh, step that's always uh, by default it need to be there so this is just uh, uh, just like a, a boot uh, kind of step okay so you don't need to worry about that so whenever we are going to de define a new step it will come after this uh, then you have like things like the interactions, like the contacts, the defining amplitudes, defining loads, defining boundary conditions, and all the different, again, attributes of your finite element model. Again, right now, there is nothing defined in the model other than the default uh, initial step. So you can access any part in your model through this model tree sometimes this is the faster way to access uh, things uh, in your model especially if you have like multiple models defined uh, or you can access them through this uh, toolbar so this is the module so again if i click here again if i expand that you will pretty much see the same modules like the ones in the uh, model tree on the left. So again, the part, the property, the assembly, the step, the interaction, the load, the mesh, optimization, we are not going to use that, at least for the purpose of this tutorial series. And then the job, submitting the job, and then the visualization. So essentially, we are going to use this exact hierarchy that we're seeing here in this drop-down menu to define our model. Right now, we don't have anything defined, of course. Uh, the rest of the toolbar, you have lots of toolbars over here. Uh, by default, uh, you have the typical toolbar for uh, file management. So this is to open a new model, uh, to start a new model, to open an existing model, to save your model. Uh, you have the visualization. So this is like the control for uh, the viewing angle. So this is the viewing. Uh, toolbar uh, so that you can look at your model in different angles or the 3D angles and so on. Uh, this is like, again, for handling the viewing point of your model. So to move your model right now, of course, we don't have anything, so we have nothing to control, but this is like the zoom window and so on and how to visualize your model, like rendered view or like wire view, which is again, like, these are all very useful options like uh, to visualize your model depending on the well the nature of your model of course turning the perspective on perspective off so these are the typical viewing uh, or view toolbars that you find in most uh, software so i assume that you are familiar with most of those 
if you have used any uh, kind of software before like AutoCAD or anything else uh, for that matter. Uh, this is also like for the selection this is the by default you have those here so this is the selection module right now it's uh, inactive because we still don't have anything to select from so this is the selection like if you want to select something from the viewport so uh, sometimes parts are or like surfaces or faces are hidden so you need to select stuff so this is uh, this will aid you in how to select uh, parts and cells and surfaces and nodes uh, from your viewport uh, over here of course you can access most of these things using the uh, this uh, management toolbar over here so by clicking like for instance on view you again can do all these things like you can do with the icons over here but you using this uh, uh, drop down list but mostly uh, typically for for all the practical reasons, um, we typically use the icons, of course, it's much easier. If you want to add more toolbars, you can go to the view a toolbar and then you can uh, activate or deactivate additional toolbars to show uh, on your interface. Uh, there are also additional options. We are going to talk about those later on. So this is like, uh, the viewing options, graphics, graphics options, how you display parts. So right now you see that the viewport has a white background. Perhaps uh, not everybody likes uh, this. Perhaps you want to change it. So you can control everything pretty much uh, with respect to the visuals. So we are going to dis discuss these things uh, later on. Um, and mostly here uh, again like this is uh, again things to control as well like from the view and the viewports you can control other things as well you can add not only one viewport you can add multiple viewports in parallel uh, like you do an array so that you can visualize your model from different angles which can perhaps be uh, very useful for like more complex models so that's pretty much it uh, and on the base here you will have uh, over there this is the message area okay so the message area this is where you are going to get uh, pretty much uh, feedback from abacus once you create a part for instance abacus will tell you that the part is created so it will give you some uh, text feedback in this message area so you always need to be looking he over here to check for things uh, this lower bar between the viewport and the message area again this is where you are going to get very useful uh, important messages so for instance we're going to see later on when we create the parts you will get a message here to tell you what exactly you need to do next so always look at this part as well because it will tell you what you need to do uh, there is another thing you can uh, uh, toggle here between the message area and the kernel command uh, so the kernel command this is pretty much the a command line so as you know abacus is developed uh, or uh, things in abacus can whatever that you do in abacus interface you can create by writing a command uh, this command is written in python uh, language so kernel uh, command here um, uh, window that you see over here this is pretty much an interface between Python and Abacus so you can do things here but this is for more uh, advanced users so these are again uh, things that we are going to discuss in later uh, videos but of course first things first you need to get uh, to know the basics before you start uh, doing things using scripting Python scripting and uh, more conducting more parametric or more professional uh, analysis uh, so the first thing that uh, you do again is to open a new file but of course right now since we already opened uh, abacus so by default we have our new model so the first thing that you should do is that you need to go to file i don't need to open a new uh, model database because we already started abacus so we already uh, are trying to create something with a standard uh, slash explicit model uh, the first thing that you should do is you need to set the work directory so if I click on this by default 
Abacus uh, work directory will be set in the uh, location where uh, based on the abacus where it uh, where your operating system is so right now it's like in system 32 folder so of course you don't want that because uh, once you start running your model all the output uh, files will be generated in this folder so which is not convenient of course so you want to change this uh, directory uh, so you want to add a new work directory so perhaps so I can go here, for instance, uh, on the C drive for, uh, for my example, and then I can create uh, a new uh, folder, for instance, and I can call it uh, Abacus Tutorial. And then I will select this folder and say, OK. So now I have my new work directory is like this. And then I click OK. Have to be careful, of course, because uh, whenever you close like you close Abacus and then you open it again, uh, so the home directory uh, or the work directory will change. So just be careful to modify it, unless of course you open a file directly from uh, from the work directory. I, we are going to see this in a second. So right now we have uh, the work directory set. So this is the first thing that you should do. The second thing that you can save your model, of course, so we can click on save. So any uh, model that you create in Abacus is saved with this extension. So this is the model database. So this is the .cae. So this is called the model database file. All right. And as you see here, when I clicked on save, I'm already in the directory, in the work directory, which is the Abacus tutorial that we created. So then I can call this tutorial all right for instance uh, so we have two main files that you need to think about here when we are talking about abacus the model database dot cee and the other one is the uh, output database or the dot odb and this is once we run the model and get the results so the results are stored in this odb file and those are two independent uh, files pretty much so I'll call it tutorial and I say ok so as you see once I clicked ok in the message uh, window over here it's telling you that the model database has been saved to the working directory and this is the name of the file .cee and that's it so now we have this is saved of course so now we can start by uh, creating uh, our model and the first thing that we're going to start as we mentioned is by defining the geometry or creating the parts so we'll see you in the next video